Hello everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and you might be able to spot that I'm in a different location today. I'm at Holbrook Farm shooting uh, with my good friend John Whitehead who has actually taught me a lot about shooting over the years. He has this amazing range and you're about to see it and what I wanted to do was using the uh, 4k day and night scope I wanted to just have some fun, zero in and shoot some targets at some different distances. So really, you're not gonna see anything more than just me shooting, okay? There's no analysis here, it's just for fun, all right? So I use one of my favorite guns in the whole world, the Daystate Renegade, and you're gonna see this in action. Check out Holbrook Farm Shooting online. I'll put a link to their Facebook details in this video description. And also, if you're interested in these scopes, there is a limited time deal that I am running in collaboration with my friends at MTC for a discount on them and you're about to see what, what they're capable of. Take care and I'll see you soon. Okay Bye -bye. so you will see that there is a target there. Now I've just used a rangefinder and that excuse me is 38 meters away. Let me tighten that up a bit there we go. So if I fire a shot, famous last words, I should be able to hit the bullseye-ish. Okay, yeah, that was it. So I consider that zeroed in. And you'll notice that around here, there is some targets there, some targets there. There's another paper target and some targets there. And I'm just going to shoot some things because it's fun and I'm gonna be just testing out what the gun is like I'm gonna zoom in a little bit there we go look at the focus on that I need to reload the gun obviously change to something else. Let's move over here. These are a bit closer so I can change the focus slightly. There you go. Ooh. Let's try the last one. Again, you'll see it's blurry. All you need to do is change the focus. Perfect. These ones are easy. Let's see. The interesting thing is, maybe I'm too close to need to use any hold over or hold under. I thought I would have to use some, but no need. Get the focus right. There we go. No. That's it. Beautiful. So what we'll do now, I will let's zoom in and see how close I was. Yeah, that's very close. That was that was really cool. Let's see if I've got another one. I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Right, let's reload the gun, do some more shooting. Okay, so for this part of the video, all I'm interested in is that one target.
Yeah, that's a nice little group. So I have to zoom in because I don't have the kind of resolution. Well, I can't see it basically if it's like that. I could hit it, I think. But I wouldn't be able to guarantee it. Okay, so I'm going to try. I don't think there's anything in there. No, there's not. Okay, so I haven't shot that paper target yet. And I'm going to have a go at doing a whole magazine. At the furthest magnification that I can. I'm losing it, come on. No. I think I'm out. Yep, let's go and have a look. At how I've never done that before. Let's go and see what the grouping is. I promise you I'm going to show it, whatever it is. Let's zoom in first. Oh, that's pretty good. Nice. Oh, yes. That's good. Oh my. Right. Okay, so we're going to give this a try. I have set some flippy targets up and I'm going to try and shoot them stood up. And you're going to be able to see whatever it is that I can see through the scope. So, let's hope that I can actually hit something. I'm always close. There you go. I winged him. Embarrassing. Why am I sitting there? Winged him again. Out. There you go. I'm actually very happy with that. Um, yeah. Wonderful scope. I'm glad I got that on camera. It's very important to be honest with your shooting, and that's me being honest. Uh, to finish up, what I will do is I'll just show you the clarity of the picture on um, the, the highest resolution that this scope is capable of, but you won't see the crosshair. You only see the crosshair when it's at 
30 frames per second at 1080p or less. So I'll show you some of the trees and the grass and stuff and you can look at how good the quality is. So just is. for clarity's sake, here is some 4K footage. Uh, you won't be able to see the crosshair in this because they don't do that on the 4K setting. But the quality is... Ooh, what happened there? Uh, the quality is very high and you can see oops, let me zoom out you can see the trees the fence everything around whilst I'm stood up let's just have a last go at this Ooh. Those ones are hard. So for those ones. Anyway, I'm out. There you go. That's it in 4K.